Hello, my fellow Aldi addict. It's Jakey. It's another Sunday, which means I'm at Aldi. I'm going to get in the store, get my week of groceries. I'm excited about dinners this week. So let's get into the store, see what goodies they have and what's on my meal plan, which I'll share at the end. And all recipes I use are always linked below. Right when I walk in the door, they have the outdoor rugs here. And they have a lot of them. I need more salsa. My girls are having chips and salsa again in their lunch this week at $1.95. I wanted the salsa con queso to make a cheese sauce for a baked potato bar, but they're all out of that and the cheese dip. I'm making paninis this week and we're going to have chips and fried artichokes on the side at $1.65 for the chips. They have mini naans, $2 off for a bunch of them, so I'm going to get three packs, so they'll be $2.29 a piece. Those are on sale too, but only a dollar off. I also have another Italian loaf for $2 off, which is nice because I'm going to turn this into French bread pizza this week. So $1.15. I'm not buying panini bread because I bought one with a red sticker weeks ago that I found in my freezer, but I do need white bread and it's 92 cents. We use this for toast and PB and J's. I'm going to get three things of strawberries at $1.99 easy for lunches and additions to meals, cilantro for 79 cents, um, I'm hoping to make rice and tamales if they still have tamales from last week, green onions at 79 cents, baked potato bar, I'm, instead of mini cucumbers I'm actually going to get probably four or I'm going to get three big cucumbers. I have some lettuce to make salads with, but I'm just going to get this just to have a bit more. $1.29 for this bag. Mandarins at $4.19. Just ran out. Um, this is making me fall over almost. $2.39 for a dozen eggs. What the heck? They used to be like $0.39 cents to $0.79 cents a dozen. And three dollars for a gallon of milk. Two ninety-five for whipped cream. We just like to have this for hot chocolates, ice cream. I need tub butter. We go through this stuff. Two sixty-nine and a thing of butter. Three eighteen. I'm all out of potatoes after last week, so I'm getting another ten-pound bag for four sixty-nine. Someone pointed out that they're all the move their tomatoes and they were right minded too. So they're at a different end cap now. I'm getting tomatoes on the vine for $2.59 for our panini sandwiches. I'm getting three cans of whole potatoes to make fried potatoes to go with our breakfast sandwiches this week, 78 cents. I need tomato sauce to make our Spanish rice, 38 cents. Canned corn. 54 cents to make black bean and corn salsa and then to make black bean salsa I'm getting a can of black beans of course 71 cents but I'm also going to get three more just because we're out of black beans and my vegetarian likes this in place of meat in many meals this is another really cute addition a crab sand table and it looks like it's $44.99 but we have lots of them my kids would have loved that when they were younger so many plants. Yeah, yeah. Plants, plants, plants. It's easy to bring stuff back. I think that's kind of cool. Pop up soccer goals, $19.99. Getting into all the grilling stuff. Car covers. Pet beds. We've always loved all the pet beds. We have one that looks similar. Accent cabinet. Step stools. Garden hoses. Oh, I like these outdoor pillows. I just don't like getting two of them that aren't the same. That's kind of odd to me. All the signs. Still have the gnomes. They have lots of different laundry baskets. My son loves that TV show. This is what I was looking for right here. $9.99. I'm going to replace this one that is falling apart and old 
but I love how functional it is. Now I have an Aldi one. Someone requested I share what we have in the health and beauty area, and it's really not that much. Um, they have like a clear lax, vitamin C stuff, electrolytes. Oh, it's nice to see they actually have allergy pills. I just bought some at my, or Walmart for my daughter that's much more expensive than that. I'll have to remember that. They have toothbrush heads. Um, these I love, and actually I tried the updated version, and the only difference, it's been working really well, and I, mean to, I meant to make a post about this. It works the same. I have no reaction. It just smells more. I never used to see a, or notice a big smell difference, but this smells much more fragrant than it did when it, the packaging was older, but I still really like to use it. They have very few deodorants, some gummies, elderberry gummies, they have kid ones, multivitamins, fish oil, and they have some name brand shampoos. Now they have the Aldi version um, shampoo and conditioner. I might have to try that when I run out of my Costco stuff. I bought this for my husband before and he likes it. Sensitive skin body wash. Ooh, maybe I'll get that. I'm low on body wash. I'm going to get that today. $3.19. They have sunscreens, hand sanitizer, tampons and pads. I am a big fan of their um, feminine products. I use them. That's where I buy them when I buy them. And this is all we have for the health and beauty. They don't have any makeup regularly. I did love my makeup though from Aldi Fines Isle. They have all their German stuff. You guys know I love this. I got my fill of it last time when I bought multiples, but $2.49 is so good. These soups are good. I love these. I'm actually going to buy one. Herbs of the Alps, $1.49. And Spätzle. My favorite rice to buy, I just ran out. I'm going to need some this week, $5.45. I am going to get pepperoni for the French bread pizzas I'm making, $2.25. I completely ran out of flour this week, so I'm going to get two bags at $1.56. I'm making homemade biscuits for bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches this week. I'm going to make the fried potatoes with it, but I need bacon, $4.19. Okay, so I'm super bummed. I did miss out on the tamales from last week. It was a really good price. I should have just grabbed them then. Um, so instead of tamales, I'm going to get taquitos. Unless I can still find them. Ooh, those look good. I'm going to get these to go with the taquitos because my vegetarian will probably like these. They are... $4.79. Lots of German lovelies now. They also have many quesadillas. German potatoes, strudel, pretzels, spitzel. Huh, they changed how their spitzel is done. Used to be bagged. Sliced chicken breast for our paninis, $2.99. Um, just to follow up, we loved the butter chicken bites. It was not enough for our whole family. Luckily, just me and my husband had them. My kids went to my in-laws, but they were really good, and I definitely recommend them for $4.99. It's simple, quick addition to a meal. Chorizo ravioli sounds good to me, but I'd be the only one in my family to eat it. Pork schnitzel, yum. I like the chicken schnitzel better, though, because my family eats that better. <gasps> You guys, they have two packs of tamales left. Yay! So here we are, getting the beef tamales. Yay, $7.49. This will be like a dinner, plus my daughter will eat these some other time. But I'm really excited, $7.49. And then my vegetarian can have those. They have German desserts, um, German luxury cake with marzipan mousse, yum. I don't need it. They have some gluten-free additions, lobster mac and cheese, lots of different pizza options as usual on this one. $4.49 for specialty ice creams and still pretty much the same thing from last week in this, this area. I'm getting sliced Gouda cheese for a spinach dish I'm making as a side, $2.29 and then cheddar for our biscuit sandwiches, $1.79. I 
I need mozzarella for the French bread pizzas I'm making. Well, I guess Italian bread pizza at this point. $2.59. And then the snacking cheese. This is not in the right area. Oh, there it is. $3.29 for my daughter's lunches. Well, it finally happened. My favorite broccoli went above a dollar. But I'm getting two of them. A dollar nine. It's just the best. And then $3.29 for hash brown patties to go with the breakfast sandwiches. I was looking for blocks of spinach. They don't have it, but I'm gonna just get this instead and I'll see if I can make it work. 209. My son asked me to get waffles, $1.24. Well, it might cause an uprising in our house, but they are completely out of. Oh, never mind. I just had to really bend pale ice cream down there, $4.95. Get in a vanilla. Maybe it's the last one. These are cute. Don't forget your mom next weekend. I will be shopping on Mother's Day because I love it. Ooh, lentils. I'm going to get a pack of green and brown lentils. My girls and I love lentils. 99 cents. These are cute. I don't know if they've been out for a while, but I haven't noticed them. Joggers. Lots of leisure wear. I think most of it is leftover. We still have a table here. They have toilets here, rain boots, lots of cute books. They still have all these things that are super cute. A lot of random things on clearance. Oh, it was $4, now it's $3.99. Don't tempt me, don't tempt me, Aldi. There's four of these left, I don't think they've sold any. I'm waiting for them to go on clearance before I buy it for my husband. Lots of chairs left. 39 for the stacking chair, 59 for a rocker, and 29.99 for ottomans. So many. But I'm in line. Here's everything I have. Any guess on my total? Okay, my total is 125.83. And let's bag it up. I'm using previous red sticker panini bread. I got it all the it's in my freezer for the buffalo chicken paninis. Also, obviously, my vegetarian will make it vegetarian. We have lots of different toppings for that. We're going to have the jalapeno chips, and I'm going to make artichoke chips. Also, for any dinner, we can have fruit with any of our meals. So we just always have fruit available. I'm making homemade biscuits with bacon, egg, cheese. So we'll have breakfast sandwiches. I realized I bought hash browns, and I bought the soft potatoes to make skillet potatoes. So I'm not sure which potato we're going to make, but... It'll probably depend on the evening and how it's going. And then I'm going to make a spinach pie. It's basically spinach gouda, an egg as a binder, and you kind of bake it. But I was supposed to get the frozen bricks, so we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to have a baked potato bar. We'll have steamed broccoli, leftover bacon from this meal. And I need to find a cheese sauce somewhere else. Or maybe we'll just use shredded cheddar instead of a cheese sauce, sour cream, green onions. Everyone can make their own potatoes. I'm going to have... The steamed tamales, I'm gonna make a Spanish rice in my Instant Pot and a corn and bean salsa. I'm also going to make French bread pizza, although I bought Italian bread, and I'm gonna slice it down the middle. We're gonna have a pepperoni side and an all cheese side, and I'm gonna bake it. I'm following a recipe for like a garlicky crust, and then I'm just gonna put a jarred Aldi sauce that I have half of left in my fridge as the pizza sauce. I'm gonna doctor it up a little bit with some Parmesan, some spices, garlic. It'll be delicious. We'll have salads with that. And then depending on what we have for leftovers, we're either gonna have a leftover night or I'm gonna make crock pot lemon chicken, which I have freezer prepped. I bought all the ingredients for that weeks ago and I freezer prepped like four dinners worth of lemon chicken. So if we don't have enough leftovers, I'll have crock pot lemon chicken and I'll make rice and broccoli with that. And then finally, on Sunday is Mother's Day. I don't know where, but we're going to go out to eat for dinner. And I'm also going to make myself cinnamon chip scones, which are one of my favorite things to make. I'll make those on Saturday. I like the process of making and, of, of course, eating them. So those, the recipe for that is linked below. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, Donna, ciao.